from the script, uh, from the page, you know, the tone of it, which is all is always that sort of holy grail thing, where you, you know, tone is this sort of indefinable thing that sometimes very, very good scripts, you know, the tone of them just sing off the page. And so uh, the tone of this project was, was sort of respectful to the ailments that we see, and but also very, very funny, but never sort of pointing the finger funny, you know. <laughs> like, it, 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 this, by the time they're making fun of their illnesses, the audience are sort of on board and on, you know, on the outside pointing. Gren being the, her first movie, you know, I think it was sort of, it was quite courageous of her, the fact that we did extensive rehearsal, and, you know, at the point, at the, at the get-go, she goes, you know, I think you know the character better than I do now. You know, he's totally yours. So, um, which is very brave for someone doing their first movie, you know, to sort of relinquish control in that very significant way. She's like, you guys do what you've got to do and uh, we'll all sort of get there together. So she is, yeah, she's, she's a total collaborator and uh, it's definitely a good start for her, I think. One guy who I met and I worked with was a guy called Jackson Kramer, who was very much a kind of an open book on on Tourette syndrome. He he's a young guy who had uh, had lived with Tourette syndrome all through his adolescence and stuff. And uh, Gren originally uh, got in contact with him through the TSA, the Tourette Society of America, and he just went. I'm, a, I'm. What do you want to know? You know, I want. I want to give you everything. Uh, you, you, you need so that Tourette's isn't uh, expressed falsely in this movie. It's uh, represented well. So he was brilliant, you know. And we actually in LA we lived together for like a couple of weeks, and uh, so that was just invaluable to have, to have someone like that who uh, is just. To it totally open about talking about all aspects of not only the the, the ailment that he, he he managed, but you know his his own personal life. You know, so he gave us so much in that way. Yeah, it's lovely to kind of uh, come back home and go, look, here's the fruits of my labor. <laughs> you know, and something so different. You know, uh, back in Ireland, I mean. I suppose in Ireland I'm chiefly known for Love, Hate and Misfits and a few other projects that are closer to home like that. And so like for this it's something that's it's very, very far away from those things. And that's what I kind of relish is going off and exploring and doing something entirely different. So it's nice to come home and go, hey, look at this. <laughs> look what I can do. There you go. So yeah, I was, I was beaming with pride. I had a lot of family clan in the audience and stuff. So that was nice. Misfits was great. It was very defining, you know, at the time. It's weird, like, you know, I'm 27 now. I did that when I was 21 and 22. And I kind of look back and I go, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> you know, now it's, just, it's a very different sort of person and context. And uh, so, yeah, I suppose, it, I suppose the jobs like that are absolute gift. But you have to continue to sort of mix it up and you got to have bottle, you know, you got to have some, some courage and uh, you got to be very sure of what you want as well and what you don't want. And I suppose uh, it takes, it takes, it took me quite a while to, to uh, really be sure of my choices and stuff. Um, so I just, I just go after the stuff that I really like and everything else I just leave alone, really. Yeah.